Now. Do it until you step at the end of your eyebrow and then you can dust the rest on your brow bone. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Victoria Blends. If you don't know, now you do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is the first but not the last video of me and my box charm boxes. I'm so excited. First off, I want to say I'm so sorry. I want to apologize for my hair. It is Mean Girls Day, girl. It is October 3rd and it is a rainy October night. So my hair got a little coming in and I was like, my boxy charm boxes are here. What is going on? So I basically I opened and showed my mom because she was not in the known like me. Like what? We were just going over prices over i'm gonna pull up the 25 dollar box and we're just gonna go through that first because i am coming to you barefaced and yeah we're gonna do a try on so since i already know what's in the boxes i'm gonna put on what's in this box oh my goodness this is my first box i was like so in love Okay, so I already tried this hand cream. It has patchouli and shea butter and also vanilla in it. It retails for $14. I super remember that one because I was like, what? Yeah, $14 Lido hand cream. So patchouli is like when you go into an incense store and it just smells like really clean, like a clean hippie. Yeah, that is my stuff. I used to work at Lush. Every video I come in with, I used to work at. Girl, I've had so many jobs. That's okay. I'm coming with you. I'm coming with all the skills to you. Brought to you by all the retail stores, all the beauty stores that I've worked at. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna use this last because I don't want um, whatever is on there on my face. So, I should wash my hands again before I put the face oil on. So this is the face oil that I got. It's a tomato serum. It retails for $150. And I swear like the reviews are like 5.9, five stars, like full five stars. And I cannot wait to try this. It's like a skin smoother. I already have like super soft skin, you know? But I can't wait for it to be like glass skin. That's good. Mm. Why is it so iffy to me? Because it came without a little labeler. I don't know. Is that even like you know one of them plastic sealers for $150? Hold on, let me um wash my hands again. So what it says is to pour a few droplets on your face and on my mirror. I'm doing skincare. I cannot touch anything. So I'll just do like <laughs> like super silky. so that's why it's for dry oily blemish prone and then combination skin because it works for both of those okay so I don't know I really like it I'm just like 
home to read this. So that's just what it is. Okay, so done with this serum. All those stars online and then the way that it's a gel and meant for everyone. Totally recommend that. Okay, so I got the Luna Magic brushes. Ooh, that was super reflective. Okay. So these are the four brushes that I got and I'll be using them in today's video for my eyeshadows. Just remove them out of their packages. I got MAC Lady Danger. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, the retail price for this is $18. And then the retail price for Lady Danger by MAC is $19. Let's do a quick swatch, because I never even owned Ruby Woo. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Who loves the smell of lipstick? It smells like candy, I swear. Okay. Oh, that kind of remember <laughs> remembers. That kind of reminds me of this lipstick that I did. Oh my gosh, should I say I not had a red lipstick from MAC? Yes, I did. It was from their Villains collection, and it was Snow White's The Evil Queen. She was like holding a uh, dagger with the apple. I don't know. It was so awesome. I love that freaking color pink. Pink, red, pink, whatever. Oh my gosh. I was like looking at this. This is so cute. I love this. I'm, I don't have my glasses on. Oh my gosh. I love this edging. Like, I love those colors with the glitter the stars and then with the super clean marble oh, we just match on everyone's marble clean vanity oh sorry this is my first makeup tutorial i've never been on camera doing makeup just face paint and so i have to show off my pinky nail first it reminds me of when I would do face paint and then obviously you have to include everything, fingernails, everything, girl, the whole body. If not, you're not a real artist. So, yeah. This palette, I'm going to give it to my sister. Let me put it back in its packaging so it's nice and secure for her. Also, I brought my eye cream because, like I said, I just washed my face. I just stepped in. So I had a little bit of mascara. This is Osha's Hydrating Indigo Eye Cream. It is hydrating and brightening because it's lavender. So the lavender just reflects light and makes it brightening. We hope. <laughs> so yeah, love this serum. It feels kind of like, like it would mattify me. Like I'm just saying. I would definitely recommend that in the tea serum. But it says that you can use it morning and night. So if you're oily and you're a little nervous about using serums, I recommend using it at night and see how your skin does after like a week of maybe putting that into your skincare regimen. So on to my glam vibes only premium. So 
Okay, so first I'm going to start with skincare. So this is a Brilliance Facial Oil. I didn't get too much into it because I just want to do it after I take off all my makeup right now. And after I do this fat facial, I'm so excited. I seen this and I was going to get it at Ulta when they did 21 Days of Beauty. But it just wasn't included. I think it was at Ulta. I'm pretty sure. I am so freaking excited. I was nervous when I seen that in the you could possibly have this in your box i was like please i cannot wait to try it this mm, mask this glow mask and also my serums and we'll see if my skin gets more taut you know oh it feels the retail price of the fat glow facial by ole hendrickson is 50 dollars and the uh, emma hardy Brilliance facial oil retails for 55 Also, what I want to try tonight, so I'm going to put this in my fridge like right now. I'm going to wash it with my face wash. I'm so, well, I'm excited while I say that because I freaking love my face wash that I just found. If you didn't see that video, then go ahead and click the link. So I'm just going to wash it with my face wash and then I'm going to stick it in the fridge or the freezer. Let's see, where do you stick this? It's $18. Um, let's see. Post, apply your favorite moisturizer. Enjoy your rejuvenated calm skin. To care, sterilize roller head with an alcohol, or with, yeah, basically with an alcohol wipe, because that's what I use, or alcohol. After each use, use a store ice roller in box inside your freezer. That's what I'm going to do is wash it with face wash. Wait, can I? I'll just wash it with alcohol. But I don't want alcohol on my face. I just want to wear my face wash. And then I'm put it in the freezer. And then I'm going to use my Fat Glow Facial. And then my Brilliance Oil. And girl, I'm sad. Okay, you guys. I'm whispering. Sorry. I don't want it to echo. I took my makeup off. And now I have the Glow Facial. And I'm going to use the Makeup Eraser Wipe to wipe the mask off i'll be right back okay this is how my skin is looking it is so smooth like what the heck my lips feel so plump you have no idea i can't stop looking at myself in camera you know what i'm saying i don't even know i'm just really excited to try this oil now so this is a dry nourishing oil Okay, it has nine, nine essential oils. Just drip that all over. Ooh, I smell what I used to smell. I don't even remember the name of that product. I used to use this product from Whole Foods. Oh my gosh. Like 10 or 11 years ago. This is what it's reminding me of. Let me see why. It has orange, mint, vanilla, geranium, chamomile, lavender, lemon. So the lemon, when you have lemon in oils, so this is a dry oil because the lemon is in there. So both of these oils in my boxes, they're meant for oily skin. So I recommend using this oil at night. It's pretty heavy. So just a little bit I've used. I went overboard. I like a good one. I like it heavy. I'm really dry, that's why. So I would need that. But for oily skin, you just need a little bit at night. That's it. So before I put the oil on, I put my eye cream on. And I try to go around my orbital bone. Nowhere. After that. Okay. And then always up. And if you want, the girls do it now. I feel good. I feel like good. Thank you. I cannot wait to start this glow journey for winter. Mm. Okay, so I got this Stila smudge stick. I think it retails for in the 20s. Let's see. Yes, $22. I was going to say 22 I was like, mm. oh my goodness. I remember, Stila is really good. Oh my goodness. Their reps are so amazing too. Okay, so 
Um, I freaking am always in search for the best and the most pigmented and the most creamy and it doesn't you already know there's no fallout nothing the best pink hot pink bright pink all that oh my gosh look at that top one curtsy look at the top pink color oh my goodness oh my god look at elizabeth i have to stand up and show you guys elizabeth can i pinky point and show you my wolf nail <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so since it is Mean Girl Day, it's October 3rd, I'm gonna do, I wanna do like a pink, a pink, 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 ooh, let's see. There's not really like any dark. Oh my gosh, look at Queen. Oh, I would love Queen on top of a smudge stick. Okay. Oh, here is a mirror, yay, so exciting. That's a really big mirror too. Thank you so much, BoxyCharm. Like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I freaking love my first box. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. If you have not heard of BoxyCharm or if you are thinking about getting a beauty subscription box, I totally recommend them. So you can get the um, premium. Did I talk about the milk highlighter? I did not. I did not talk about the milk highlighter to use everything in the box because we're doing a try on. Let me use a little bit of the liquid highlighter. I think I'm going to do that right now. This one is in lint. Let me swatch it for you. But yes, this one's going to go to my sister too. Oh. I, not, I don't think I've ever used milk products before. And then I just. And twist and pull. So good highlighter like that. Okay, I'm gonna just put it on my skin. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy, so hydrating, so liquidy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're gonna start my face with this milk highlighter. Try to get a cupid's bow of my lip. Okay. I like the shade right here, so I'm just gonna apply it at the back of my hand. So, as you can see, I used it by warming it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna seal the packaging and then give it to my sister. So you can apply it to your cheekbones, your brow bone, the bridge of your nose, and your cupid's bow for a luminous glow. Also can be applied to the decollete. So I just applied it on my neck. You could apply it right here. Like if you were to contour your, if you were to like pick up your breasts and then you were to see that shadow, anything that's not this line, this shadow, you can put this highlighter on. So if you were to have it on the back of your hand and you had a tank top on, then put it on top of each like highlighted part and like right here and then keep this shadowed. All right, so as you can see, I've already prepped and primed my face with makeup and concealer and powders and all that good stuff. I did my brows as well. Mm, I don't have anything on my lips besides some chapstick let me move this hair out the way and let's get started okay my eyes are very hydrated oh <laughs> let me just take this one. get all the moisture absorbed and press down any extra powder so what we are going to do is use 
are brushes that we got in our set and i've been thinking about an, a look that i want to do but i just can't come up with anything so the brushes that i'll be using looks like it's gonna be these three because that one's pretty wide so maybe i'll use it at the end to blend everything together Alright, so let's see. Let's get started guys. So I'm going to take Sheba and use it as a transition shade. This is my first makeup tutorial. It's not even a makeup tutorial. All right, I'm gonna use this brush spray to clean off any of the pink residue so I could use another color. And just a little bit too, because you don't want it to be too oily. And then you just swirl your brush and it's pretty clean. It doesn't leave it oily or wet. Looking harsh. So I'm gonna take Majesty. Okay, now I'm going to take Queen. I'm sorry, I'm like talking so light. I don't even know why. I feel like I look so bright. I don't know. My lady. This is so creamy. Oh, I should have did a halo eye and did dark inner corners. But I actually really like this.
it is so much more pigmented when you use your fingers i think it's because they're so creamy and like pressed so well this is a really really good palette this these are really nice colors oh i didn't use crown let's see if i can fit it when i use crown can you see that like this lavender color and like the transition the my lady and empire trailer right here there's a lot of props tapping on the highlights all right how could we darken the crease let's use brown because it seems to be the darkest just do all that I noticed some fallout on my shape. Oh my gosh, it like stood there. It is there. It is pressed and it is a layer. Oh I'm like trying to darken my crease without it just being too muddy. I like really want a lot of the Ooh, I like that. So Majesty and Regal again. The two matte purples. Yep, yeah, that did it for me. Okay. So now I'm gonna use the Stila eyeliner. It is in Stingray, so I'm guessing it's like a blackish gray. Oh my gosh, I love how it glides and it is so dense. Like the color is so nice. So creamy. This is a good tight liner and it's waterproof. Yes, waterproof smudge stick. Oh, you can smudge it. Oh, this would probably be. Just taking it to the side. Yes. No. Uh -huh. Okay, I am going to put on some mascara on my lashes and find an appropriate lipstick because even though a queen will always wear a red lip, I don't think that this is going to go well with the teal and the pink. I'm going to put on some mascara, some lashes, and I'll be right back with the finished look. ladies this is my lick that i came up with but before i go and the reason why i'm holding the brush that i didn't get to use on my eyes i found a use for it i'm gonna pick up empire i did it on this side already i said oh wait let me show them and i'm gonna angle it down like this you can do any way but i like how the thick part is gonna just yeah i like it this way 
and then you just do it like this. Do it until you stop at the end of your eyebrow. And then you can dust the rest on your brow bone. But don't do a proper. Just, you want the most at the peak. See? Oh yeah, definitely like on that angle there. Pick up a little more. Do a little swirl. Oh, that one is like hello. I think maybe I can do this. Okay. Oh, I get to use my hand cream. <gasps> yes. Well, actually, we'll do it luxurious that way. Oh, on my lips, I have MAC Liner in Spice. I cannot wait for the month of October because I have another makeup look that I want to do. Um, so anyways, so Spice as a liner, then as a lipstick, I have Velvet Teddy by MAC. And then the only gloss that I had like visible on hand was this Morphe gloss. I only found it fitting. It's called Flower Crown. So I found it fitting because I didn't get to use the Morphe palette that I'm going to give away. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Okay, here is a close-up of the look like i said it does have some fallout right here other than that i really love the stila smudge stick over this look i think it completed it so well if you can see my eyelash glue i super apologize but i just couldn't wait to show you as soon as i put the look together um yeah <laughs> if you enjoyed this video be sure to find more on my channel in the near future i really enjoyed doing makeup on camera i haven't done makeup in so long seeing this eyeshadow palette online okay let me tell you when they swatched the colors i was like where can I find this and where can I find those oils and what they put makeup brushes in there what and I seen this cherry eye cream I was like they put eye cream in these boxes they put skincare they put this they put that like this roller oh this is what I was talking about so this one too so that tomato serum this um that little sticker okay so i thought that they would put the clear sealer on the most expensive serum so that's all that's all for september for me so for my premium box and my original charmer box my okay let's start with the original I am 128. I still have to like learn the lingo. So my subscription this month for my $25 box was 128. And then my premium box is number 12. So cute. I'm so excited. I can't wait to give some to my sister. I can't wait to start collecting stuff and doing like a giveaway bin. That would be so exciting. Who doesn't love makeup like what the heck anyways this video is probably long enough just like the rest of my other ones i really hope you enjoyed this look i hope you enjoyed me showing you my first time with boxy i wish i would have opened it like on camera and had like a surprise uh, like reaction because i couldn't believe the amount of products that they give you for what do I pay? 60, 20, 30, 40, 50. I paid 60 dollars. Wow. That's fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye guys.